spawn safely and have a chance to engage the enemy before they're instantly killed without even seeing what did it. So McLovin and Cody, if y'all are ready, go ahead and ready up and let's get this underway. Good luck and have fun, everybody. I'm interested to see this, the typical gravel pit game, which is very similar to this. Basically, A goes uncontested or minimally contested, and then B is where the red team uh, defends. That is definitely. See if the teams follow that or not. That is definitely what we saw on the first round there. Minimal contestation. They didn't leave it undefended, but uh, definitely with an emphasis on the B defense and the A attack. Could go both ways, though. The uh, HL3 did pull a good move last turn, or last, excuse me, last round. In the second half, when they needed to buy some time, they put a real solid defense on A right out the gate and were able to hold it uh, instead of B. And that kind of threw a wrench in the works for T5 and forced them to go the opposite direction and get two caps instead of just being able to put cap one. Yeah, it'll be interesting with nine. Uh, I would think people would try to get a medic pick at least and try to give them some advantage at the other side, at very minimum. Not sure if we'll see it attempted or not, but you see some uh, nice stickies and such by Grizzonia there, setting Mission up in a good spot, away from the door, seconds. hidden behind rocks and such. So if anybody does go B, they're going to get blown to hell. It looks one. like this is a lineup on A for 32. And yeah. Oh, interesting. The medic's not going with the first group. The scout's going yeah, I think, out I think first. they're very concerned about getting picked. They want to have those Ubers in to be... Oh, the sniper. Red sniper is watching. The A point. I can see his laser dot there and a nice out of the way spot. Yep. That's oh, out. out of the way. I like what he's doing there. Anything you can do to slow him down or get something done. Yeah, he landed a shot on McLovin on the roof, but it didn't quite kill him. It was a body shot. Nice headshot though on video there. Forces an Uber pop to protect the medic. And that actually cleared the point because they evacuated the point rather than risk the sniper fire. So Al doing a nice nice little time saving move. Remember, every second counts in stopwatch mode, because if they hold them to one cap, and then they can come out and cap the same point faster, that ends it mm. on the spot. We've got Blackhawk is dancing around at B, trying to see if he can get anything. I think they haven't noticed him. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, Carpe runs in with his pistol. Uh, He's coming in by the way. He's distracting. Oh, we see a, a combo. That's a full heavy combo coming up towards A to... Oh, with a stab by Blackhawk. Nice job to take out James Gold just before he lands on the point like a ton of bricks. There, still see Al Capoon sniping there, but that's going to get the point probably, unless Al snipes that NG. He does not. That's a minute 25 for the first point. The mini sentry there at A took out their medic quad who was trying to flee after uh, James Gold. Oh, look at Mummy's well. sentry position. Look at this. Blackhawk's getting healed by the medic there. Yeah, we've got face down for his own. Got a medic on the roof for a moment there, but we've got a wrangled level three sentry on the B cap roof. Dispenser and teleport up there as well, so the entire team can get there at will. That is lethal. Yeah. I think Kobe we'll Bryant deals with it nicely though. <laughs> I was yeah. about to say a sniper is what they need. A sniper is what they have. That gun's gonna go down in half a heartbeat. A lot of pills coming in, but he takes down the gun before he dies. Well done. Teleporter is still up there, though. Teleporter still up there, which is going to make it tough. may not get much of a chance to rebuild. Oh, the point from behind here comes Blue from C. Oh, all way. the way around Blue. I have not seen that done before. That's a nice move. Practice oh, Carpe the, uh, coming in. Cupcakes were not ready for it. They were not. Al Capoon has shifted off Sniper. He's a soldier now for uh, the Cupcakes. A little more used to yeah, seeing him in that role, to be honest. But he did a yeah, great job of sniper a, as well. That was a pick, pure for a pick play in the beginning, and I bet we'll see him that for the rest of the match. Well, the spy didn't fool anybody. Gets lit on fire immediately. We still see the teleport and Spencer up. I don't know if they've been identified yet by the offense. Gearbox comes in, picks down uh, Medic, looks like. Coyote. Oh, oh, Uber versus Uber. Defenders have the advantage. Medic and Engie on the point trying to get some cap time. One down, two down. 
Mummy's using the Eureka, Eureka effect to get back for more metal very quickly with that nicely placed teleporter exit. That's a very good idea considering how stingy the metal supply is on this map, especially on the B side. Good move. It's allowed him to go oh, back nice down to level 3 very quickly. Runs up, takes out Kobe Bryant. Give uh, him a little more room to get built up on that roof here. Spy gets lit up as he tries to... Spy goes down. Yeah, that level 3 work done is uh, done by Mummy is quite impressive. It is difficult to get a level 3 century up, but they're doing it. Sounds like the fight is still Idiot. at A, which is an odd place for it to be. That level 3 just went down. Kobe Bryant there. took it out as a sniper. Looks like uh, Third Texas is building an A and coming around through C. They get pinched off, though. Only three players came in. Oh, there's an Uber used and on the a Uber soldier by up. themselves. But they take out a the medic. They're going to have to deal with a bit more than that if they want to get this point. They've got an NG with them, too. Now, there's only four up. Now, uh, five of one just spawned for Cup of Kicks. Not a lot of cap time, though. It's back to empty. There goes You'll the gear. Vexen is on top of the roof. Oh, great pipe. Takes out Carpe. Yeah. He should have gone down there for sure with only 11 health. But a direct hit to the face takes out the scout. There was, oh, there's a small sentry now being put up on the point as the attackers move in. Gearbox with his mini dancing around the point on the off it. Oh, it takes out. I believe that was a spy took out that medic. Just saw the corpse fall. Jackson has done quite a bit with 11 health here. His position up there, and if the medics find him and get him healed up, that's going to be hard uh, to slow down. Although, looks like he's coming down. This is a cap fairly cap. solid attack here. It's not out of question for Cup and Cakes to come and knock it off, but this is going to be difficult for them to shove back. I don't think so. I think they're going to build on C and try to have Ubers ready and a gun built by the time uh, that may be wise. 32x comes out. They bought a lot of time here. Did well. It's uh, 549 to get two points, so that's definitely a good long hold. Let's see what they have on C. You see they're being watched through the gates. Demos up high. Sentry being built on the point. Whole team is there ready for him. See a dead spy. wrong spy gets Whoa. launched. <laughs> An invisible right. rocket jump, <laughs> but he was trailing smoke and got seen and got burned. Uber is ready to go for 32x. Seventh one has one. It's 90% for Blackhawk. They have a big advantage Sorry, here. Black so Widow. They push right away. They push right away. They'll have a... Uh, Coyote with an Uber ready to, to defend, and if he can stay with it, there goes the first Uber. They're getting separated apart by the explosives. The control point is being contested. That's a crits, is what uh, Coyote was deploying, and he and uses it to good effect. Oh, the mini sentry goes up. Only McLovin survives the onslaught by from 32 x side. Good defense by the cup and cakes. Yeah, the uh, carpet was able to get in and beat the uh, engineer to death, keep them from using those mini sentries to keep them off balance. Good That'll let them uh, have some time that. to rebuild. See the spy there in the center. He's pulling back towards Alpha. A is definitely the location of the base. We see that forward teleport and such over on the right-hand side, much like what we see, again, on Gravel Pit. Despite the fact these maps are different and somewhat reversed in some aspects, they have very similar play style. If you understand one, you understand them both. Yeah, the directions are generally similar. Uh, what's protected and what's not protected is similar, so you want the similar idea. Spy on the point has not been noticed, but the Pyro does see him there. It took a moment, Pyro said, wait a minute, that's a spy. Spy burns and then is finished off on the dead ring by the Carpe. You hear that Eureka effect still being used to make sure everything gets built up. Got a full charge here by Black Widow. Gonna move in with a demo. Dubop, and they're gonna try and get up on that point to destroy some gear. They get separated apart. Sherlock doing his thing as a pyro, and uh, Armin helps out with the kill. 
Sentry gun knocks out Black Widow. Both medics down now for 32 legs. Gun survives the day. That spy. Oh, nice move by Blackhawk. Saps the gun and stabs the medic. Gun is fixed, but you can't fix a backstab medic. Oh, and that, um, that would have been a big advantage for Sherlock. They probably could have, uh, or for Quad, they probably could have pushed out. Ooh, crits big, demo uh, at very close that. range. Nicely handled by use, Armin. I like that. I do, um, oh, look at that! Slow down. The, oh, that uh, was a console. great crits with Armin. This took out four or five people at least, including, I believe, one of the two medics with a crits Krieg from Coyote. Nicely yeah, called. Went down there. Engineer, though, gearbox right behind them being very persistent. There they got him. The Y tunnel. Big, big in play area. You see 32 attacking the Y tunnel from both sides. They are flanking on both sides, and I think I just saw the sniper going through the B2C. We'll see in a moment if he pops out there, trying to do some picks. Spy behind the point, comes out of a dead ring, and there's that sniper. Engineer, watch your head. He's been spotted. This is not a good map to offensively snipe on blue into blast. There is really not a great position to be in. Yeah, those buildings that have been built provide enough blockage over the points that you really don't have a good long sight line. So as you say, pretty yeah. tough to snipe C. Yeah, you got to put yourself at risk uh, too easily. Spy is spy on that on point again. Mission that spy check is too, isn't down in the field, not really on the gun, which I'm kind of surprised at. Blackhawk's doing a great job. His timing saps it just as it gets wrangled. Perfect slow timing on that, however. It gets fixed. And it, that gun is still doing work. Oh, what a crazy Oh, the gun rocket. goes down to a point blank sticky, and we see 32X is mobbing the point. However, James Gold is up. That means other people go down. James Gold well, put a, a with level three rocket Spencer. right down the steps, hit three players, took them all out, but Ooh. Uh, there you see Mummy commenting on, on it. it. Yeah. These teams just trading blows, only eighteen seconds left. Yeah, that's that's big to Cup and Cakes advantage. That they want nothing more than to trade blows away from the point. Absolutely, and Cup and Cakes is probably going to hold 32x to 2 here, which gives them the opportunity to either be 2 faster or to take 3 and get the win, which of course would be huge. Time is up, and Cup and Cakes holds them to 2. It was a well-fought round. That's a very well-fought round. Both teams just slugging it out. And that's exactly the type of match I think we were both expecting to see. Mission Teams giving it everything seconds. they've got. And uh, Cup and Kings are swapping a player. They are indeed. Carpe, so Carpe gives up his spot for Raygun. That's uh, one scout for another, if I remember correctly. Most likely. Uh, yes. Unless they have an odd plan, but Raygun, one of the better scouts in the Cup this year. Yeah, Cup and Cakes with some serious scout options. 20 seconds of that setup time, so they did that very quickly and efficiently. Yeah, I think they, they had some communication work on that one. That's what we like to see. It looks like Cup and Cakes lining up towards A also. And uh, there's a sticky trap in the light. Very nice spot for it. Almost impossible to see unless you know exactly where to look, and by the time you can see it, you're dead. So, good placement by, I think that's probably Vixen who did that. And that right there is a spot I had Three, about four two, players ask me one. if it was legal this afternoon. Everybody wants to make sure they're on the right side of, of the law, so to speak. Let's see. Oh, one of them goes off, oh. the others don't. Or that might have been they just got separated by some frag from a, a rocket or something in close. Mummy takes out Spy. Yeah, that was not a spy. Yes, it was a spy. I missed it suddenly. There, Blackhawk, that's who I was missing. And uh, Cup and Cakes is all over this point. We're not seeing 32 do that delaying tactic over here that we saw the Cup and Cakes do to them. So Cakes might be coming into this with a significant time advantage. We know that this point can be capped in just over 40 seconds, sometimes less. And they are going to take it. Yeah, I think I see... 
think it's, we'll see them try to get a pick or a, a trap here. That was 4.59 on the trap. clock, which means it was a 50 second cap. That gives them 4 minutes and 59 seconds to get on B to take the win. Or, of course, oh, and we see Black Widow goes down Great on a nice snipe, snipe by Al Capone. They're saying, oh, of course, if they don't do this one faster, they still can win if they then get a third cap. If they don't get a third cap and they're slower on the second point, then we'll have 32x as the winner of the first half. Coyote there with the medicking. Mummy pulling back severely injured. Demo, they've got some serious force. Cup and Cakes has got five team members yeah. right here, as well as an Uber. If they jump on this point, they're going to be hard to beat. There is a sentry gun wrangled in there. Yeah, they're, they need they're to jump on this point right now. Just jump on this point. They've got the entry locked. They're going to take this with plenty of time to spare, unless something changes rapidly. It is a long cap. So there is time cap, for them to true. push. And uh, only three 32x is up, so they're going to see a spawn yeah. wave. Three Unfortunately, at a time. their medics, their medics went down, meaning they yeah. won't be able to have an Uber to push in or a crits. There's a spy. Oh, I, I just saw in the back. Yeah, he just went down. Could still have as many bodies as possible on that point. I'd like to see five or six on there. There we go. Here comes some. Give him a chance. Yeah, here's some fighting, but oh wow, that was a impressive turnout. Good match, guys. Good ma match. I'm gonna go ahead and reload the map during halftime here. When the map comes back up, you want to be on the same colors. We want cup and cakes on blue, 32x on red. Five minute half. So we just saw Cup and Cakes put in a show. They uh, they get two points very quickly, and that's going to give them the win in the first half. So now, if the Cup and Cakes can win the second half, and if we then see the Group of Drunks win both of their matches, it would be Group of Drunks versus the Cup and Cakes in the finals. That, of course, is a tall order because, as we know, 32x is going to be wanting some payback. And also, we're going to be seeing uh, time trying to make sure a group of drunks doesn't just win. Still a lot of things in the way, but that's the first step. Yeah, it's uh, any, any splits and in, in the, uh, the finals and uh, all the final week is set. The moment either one of these uh, matches split. That is correct. Of course, could always see them go 2-0 and the other way, uh, and everybody maintain their, po their positions. A lot of different scenarios for the end this week, that is for sure. Thanks, Doc. Jose, did you see how much time was left on that? How much time did they have to spare on that victory there? About three minutes. I'm watching the uh, review now, to be sure, though. I should know in about 20 seconds how much time they had. Thanks, Doc. It was 3.25 on the clock when they capped out, which means that they did the two caps combined in 2 minutes and 24 seconds.
So what we saw in that first half there, some big teamwork by both teams. Cup and Cakes obviously came out on top with that just relentless onslaught. Uh, and they also had the tactic of putting a small amount of defense on the A point, which we did not see 32X do. Uh, at least not any amount that would uh, cause a delay. I think 32X is going to need to put that little bit of a delay over on point A uh, to slow down the cup and cakes That's roll, fine. because they pretty much got a free cap and were able to roll that entire force together. Uh, to launch the attack on the next point, so they, they had some momentum going on. You always want to break up the momentum a little bit if you can. Yeah, I'd like to see, uh... I'd like to see the medic, them go for the medic pick. Uh, or... Uh, something just to slow it down. Whether that's a spy or a sniper or... A, uh, run in with a crits demo when they're not expecting it. Yeah, we definitely saw some good use of crits Krieg earlier. Just some devastating swarms of destruction cut with uh, Armin and Coyote, for example. Let's see, Quad is using a regular Uber at the moment. I don't have Coyote on my screen, but he was a crits last I saw. So that, actually, I think, no, he had converted to crits by the uh, the end of that last attack. It does mean we've seen all four metaguns in play tonight uh, on various matches. We saw the Quick Fix and the Vaccinator in the first matchup, and crits and Uber as well. Actually, defending this point, I would not be at all surprised to see... Uh, yeah, we, sh we should be attacking quick first this half. Quick Fix would be very strong on either side. Uh, of this map. Yeah, that's what we saw was defense. Uh, Fraulein Arson using a quick, quick fix to bounce herself onto the roof of the point along with her demo. And uh, they were able to hold up there for a little while, so good move. Looking for one more person over on 32. And we'll have both teams ready to rumble. Yeah, apparently Black Widow crashed, so she should be trying to come back in. Ah, that is important. One of their medics, they don't want to risk having that happen during the match. Best that it happens in halftime, that's for sure. She is rejoining. Thanks, Doc. Get them. Bows, You're all right, Doc. are back up to full strength now. All right, folks, as soon as you're ready, go ahead and ready up, and let's get this underway. Looks like we're ready for the second half. Now go! Much obliged. And Coyote does appear to be using the Crits Creek still. I feel like I hear a vaccinator, although I'm not sure if uh, yeah. someone's actually using it about that time. I think that was short the uh, circuit. short circuit there that mummy had. Five, four, three, two, one. We are underway one. on the second half of match number two tonight. Mission begins in 60 seconds. Yeah. 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 
Pompson. Pompson. Bane of medics everywhere. Well, at least it doesn't penetrate models anymore. Yes. <laughs> I guess it was pretty rough when it did. That it was. Quite frustrating. Looks like we're going to be seeing a push by the Cup and Cakes in the direction of point A. McLevin probably killed himself there to provide Gearloose with some extra gold material. Then we see that uh, Mummy has dropped a mini sentry at their B exit, probably to distract anybody who tries to take a peek in there by shooting him in the face. Mission begins in 10 seconds. I'm interested to see it looks like 32x. I'm gonna four, try to stop A three, first. Two, That's a good idea. Yeah, they, they can guess that this is the direction the cupcakes are gonna roll. I can hear their Uber charge ready out there. And there's one of them. It looks like. Did they switch that up? Oh, the team just waited a little bit. Cup and Cake's a very slow, broken apart push here. Just setting in one or two people at a time, peeking around the edges, think, testing where to strengthen. Yeah, I think they're looking to see if they can get a big advantage and then push in on it or possibly even switch sides here. Here's the level three. Yeah, if they switch sides, the teleport, everything is over here. They might be able to make a move on B. They've got a scout at B already. Just got a demo to fight me. Yeah, they are, they're feeling carefully to determine where the action's going to be. The control point is being captured. Having touched B for just a moment. We see an Uber got popped right. over at A. The control and point is being captured. Ray, Ray, Ray Gun is capping. Vexen. Nicely done by Raygun here. We're going to go take a quick look over there because the action at A is dead. You see, they're going to all move in on B and try and hold 32X at A while they cap the reverse. So that did buy some time, to be sure, having that reversal in there. But this is, again, this isn't so far almost uncontested push. I guess there were a couple of shots fired over here that we didn't see on camera, but uh, good job by Cup and Cakes to make sure they got the point. That's a minute 36, only, uh, let's see here. Well, it's 11 seconds slower than 32X took the first point last time. But significantly question. slower than they did. Big question to me is how long they can hold A. It's not going to hold as easily because it's not as open as B. If they get pushed back with Ubers, they'll be in a tough spot. That's true. That is very true. I see some sniper dueling going on here. The alpha thing. Here we see the Cup and Cakes doing that same thing in reverse they did last time. They circled all the way around from the capture point and attacked from C. Now you see that barrel there behind the heavy? That barrel can actually be used to climb up on the point. You do not need to go inside even if you can't jump. You can walk right up by jumping into that barrel. That's correct, but a lot of 32 x is down. Oh, the Uber combo with happen. the soldier chasing the medic. Let's see what's going to happen here. Yeah, definitely advantage. Advantage for cupcakes. I want to get everybody on this point. Get that cap before they get a chance to do a serious contest. Dubop is making some noise. Takes out Sherlock. Yeah, there's a demo flanking around to the left side. Oh, Coyote gets sniped. I didn't yeah. even see. I didn't even see where Kobe Bryant was. Kobe, I believe, was hiding in the tunnel, the A to C tunnel on the left, but. He was moving around, he might have... Oh no, that's a shot coming from to the right somewhere. They do capture two at 318. Which is faster than they took two last time. Last time it took them 325 to get two points. And that was sufficient to win. So 318 now, the new mark to get two points. And now they're going to yeah, come and try tough. their luck at three of them. That's why I didn't like the hold on A. It is just too hard to hold, whereas B is much easier to hold. That's why you were going to see teams focus on it. They also see 32 is defending with a mini sentry there, even though they they may have had time to build up a level 3 there, but just more comfortable with the mini. Don't want to have to deal with those loadout swaps and loss of equipment that can result from changing, changing your wrench. 
And with a limited metal, it might be easier to spam the level ones, put them in different places every time. That's very true. I hadn't, hadn't considered that. Very limited metal on this one. There's a medium metal that can be found downstairs in the cap, or actually it's two small metals downstairs in the cap building. Perhaps a medium metal somewhere else in this general area, right where the soldier dropped, and that's yeah. about it. Yeah, otherwise he's going to have to go out to the left tunnel. Generally going to be boot players there. So. Uh, Black Widow pops her uber. With Dubop, they go through the Y shape. There's several the coven cakes in the... Uh, Coming from point B here. Oh, they take out the Spencer but lose a medic. That is probably not the trade they wanted to make there. Bring the Uber Heavy back to the spawn. Doesn't have anybody to shoot but a. And over here, Al Capoon coming out of the AC tunnel with his sniper rifle. There's action in every direction. Nice extinguisher by Jirai. Oh, <laughs> a crits charge with the katana. Al Capoon shoots his target though. There are people coming in from every angle here. Very hard for me to keep track of them on camera. My apologies. There's just action in every direction. There's Grizzoni with the samurai kill. He was stuck on that sword until he got a kill, but he managed to do it. He's back to his lock and load. <laughs> then he goes down Good. to dry knife yeah, extinguisher. extinguisher. Unfortunately for him. Yeah, it looked like a non-flaming extinguish. It was not a crit, so he just got whacked to death. There's a small strike group forming for Cup and Cakes. James Gold, Sherlock, and Quad down in the B2C tunnel. They have a big uber advantage here. I, I'd like to see them build it before they go out and get anybody killed. I'm not sure if they will. Quad and company have moved over to the Y tunnel, and we see Kobe Bryant sniping in the side of that, trying to keep him honest. Some players coming out of AC. Soldier Scout. This is a very interesting tactic of just pecking at them from every angle over and over, just changing your location. There's a crits. Crits on some And the Uber heavy's coming in the front. Straight into the building. This is a, a very difficult tactic to defend. You just don't know where they're gonna be coming, and because they are they are in fact coordinating to make those moves all at once. Alright, Coven Cakes have a huge living advantage. Maybe we're going to have a good chance to get this. They are the on the final point contested. with quite a few players. They need to as long as they don't get though. sticky, they're getting stickies from both sides yeah. in. Taking some damage, but the point caps fast. It, That's three points in 704. Well played to the Coven Cakes. And now 32x is going to see if they can repeat that. Do it a little faster. Pretty good defense by 32x. They're holding for what about almost four minutes, I believe, on the final. Uh, yeah, 318 to 704. Mission so almost four minutes on that last point, as you said. Nicely done. And all that with a mini sentry. True. Who am I to question the superior engineer? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, as we comment here, we're, we're giving our opinions on stuff, but the folks who are actually playing the match know the strategy. They've been practicing a lot more than we have. They know exactly what's up. Hard to guess what's in their head sometimes, but Mission repeatedly they have proven seconds. that they know what they're doing. Mummy just jumped himself back up onto the roof at B to get his uh, exit up there, just like that first half. Goodbye yeah, there he is. It's a, a great little jump, and it's a great place. We saw I used it effectively last time for a little while. He's still rolling that Eureka effect. Seems to be. It seems to have worked pretty well for that part of that tactic. So. Can't Three, oh, we see a sticky trap two, going on the outside one. of the B tunnel, and where's the team going to push? Oh, cup and cakes are going B right out the gate. Or sorry, this is 32x attack. 32x is going right out the gate to B. Oh, but they get they take some pills after they engage at their doorway. They start firing out. Some rollers come in. They lose both of their demos. That hurts going at the B point on offense. And there's the wrangled uh, money sentry. Oh, five people now down on 32x, and they have not exited their U yet. That was a brutal defense. Good job, Cup and Cakes. They didn't lose a man. 
And now you know why everybody asked about where those stickies could go. Exactly. They had a plan of defending this uh, here in this round. They're doing a good job of it too. A lot of pills coming in there. I do see that's an Uber Ready 7 Thorn running around with it. Uh, it is a standard metagun. He's got one. Quad has one on defense as well. Mummy Let's got see if 32 throw. turns around and goes. Yeah, 32 is going back to A. They realize this is going to be too hard. We need to get a point. A is undefended. They're getting a sentry gun up there. They're going to take the control this point. Point is being contested. And I think the Cup and Cakes are okay with letting them. Cup and cakes know they just have to hold on. Yeah, the timer is counting time down. Time is what matters here. Yeah, they don't need to try and do the you know every every second counts as we say, but they they know if they are entrenched hard in one place, that that will do. See so cap time not too quick for uh, thirty two X because they're. They're trying to defend against all oh, uh, possible a, angles here. Here comes an Uber. It's not going to do anything, but it's going to force the Ubers to pop on 32X that otherwise might have been used against B. So that was probably worthwhile. That is the first cap point there. About, didn't see the exact number, but around 5.05 or so. A little under five minutes left. What I'd like to see here would be Al Kaboon to try to defend uh, Mummy. Since he's been sniped up there so many times, keeping him alive would be really strong for oh, the there, case right now. There is Kobe trying to do that same snipe. He's taken some serious fire and Grizzoni laying pills in to help out. We're likely to see Kobe there switch sides, but yep, as you said. Oh, Ray Gun going up there to try and help out as well. Looks like uh, there's going to be action 32 coming out of the Y tunnel from ABC. Okay, we got the Uber demo back. Oh, the demo jumps on the roof, just gets taken out by the good Wrangler. Some important air blasting was done to break up the attacking Uber, but yeah, this this battle is in action. We see the engineer has to drop his wrangle, pulls out his shotgun. He's uh, he's or rather he's repairing with his shotgun. Mummy is healing with the uh, the rescue ranger there. Yeah, hiding. In a tucked away spot and keeping that gun alive. Kobe Bryant trying to snipe him, jumping back and forth from one side to the other. Unfortunately, I don't think he has access to metal up there. But he'll he does not, but he out. can Eureka. <laughs> not, a not a tool you see used a whole lot in pub play, but when you have a strategy and a team supporting it, look how quickly he's back in action. Thirty-two X so far just having all sorts of trouble coming out their spawn tunnel to the to B. Nice shot, Al Capoon with the defensive snipe. Kobe Bryant goes down. I think they're gonna wait for Black Widow to get her Uber. See if they can use them both to make enough uh, make a full entry here. It's probably a good idea. Do you know where they're entering from? I can see in the Y they've got a demo, but it looks like they're doing it very safely. Trying to give themselves a little bit of surprise. It's a good idea because they do need to. Yep, here they come. They're going in the direct A to B tunnel at the moment. And there's the first one popped on Armin. Oh, sorry, on Vexen. Great work by uh, Trevor Demo that was that forced them to pop it before they got out of the tunnel. Slows them down considerably. Money drops his wrangle, lets the gun fend for itself while he rescue ranges it. We do see a combo on the point. 32x combo on the point. The heavy goes down. Medic, I believe. Yep, Medic has gone down. There's his hand floating around. Yeah, only Kobe Bryant was up there for a minute. Kobe's trying to snipe at that gun. Be careful about those long-range rockets fired towards Pyro. Pyro can deflect sentry rockets. It's tough, but... Yeah, I saw a dry knight hit one uh, back on the uh, sentry earlier. Nice shot by He's trying. on Dubon.
Oh, Kobe gets Al Capoon, takes out the sniper that was counter sniping him. Now he's going to try and go to town on the engineer if he can. Three down on Cubman Kings. I'm not sure they want to no, push. Not They're going to need to soon, though. They, they have time to get another yeah. push up, but if they don't get it, that's pretty much it. Minute 10 left before time runs out. And this has Actually, to be very since fast. Since they need to cap through, they, they need it. Very Mission good. ends in 60 seconds. If it ends like this and the Cup and Cakes do get their second second win here, it's going to be up to time whether or not the Cakes go to the finals, but they will have an opportunity. See the unrangled sentry now, firing at will. The Uber moving in down low. The gun goes down. Gun gets taken down a long range. 33 seconds left. Yeah, Cakes takes Mission both of these, and God takes both of theirs, then we'll be seeing God versus A in the finals. And here comes some uh, some action from 32X, moving in off of the far left. Next Demo gets the loot. down finally. You see they've taken control of parts of the building. The control point is being captured. Their squad went over it. Given the timing Two, situation, one. Cup and Cakes are just going to try to delay. There we go. 3-1 to one, Cup and Cakes. Cup and Cakes uh, win 2-0. Good game, two to zero. Zero. See you all next week. They weekend. did what they needed to do. Now they're they sure did. We that the edge will of their them, this match. Yeah, that gives them a minimum of third place, and they could get second place if Cup and Cakes... Or, sorry, if God beats time 2-0, to zero, we'll be seeing God and Cup and Cakes in the finals. If uh, time beats, well, anything else, if it's a split or if time beats God 2-0, we'll be seeing God versus time in the finals. So, speaking of which, God and time coming right up after the break. Let's see if we can get Coyote in here.